What's your role here at Noventus Renewable Summit? Uh, I've been in a panel uh, as an energy expert. I've been in the bioenergy business for 35 years. So, so I've been sharing some of my views. How would you say Sweden's position is in the renewable sector space? Oh, very strong. I mean, we have uh, 60, around 60% renewables. Uh, we are very big in biomass, but also in wind and solar is coming quite strong. Uh, in uh, of total energy supply, biomass is uh, 39% 2020, so which is big. So, yeah, strong. And would you say that there there's any specific trends or themes in the renewable sector that you find extra interesting? Uh, yeah, many, I think. Yeah. We have this idea of electrification in Sweden, which is uh, setting the ad agenda a lot. Uh, personally, I'm a bit different so from most of the people. I don't believe so much in the electrification. And that's because of that I have another view on biomass, uh, because I I've been in this business for a long time and I know that the biomass volumes are not limited. And if people start to consider if it was like that, that biomass volumes are not limited, then there is other calculations to make. So then the cost issues will end up uh, differently. And so I think it's wise as an investor to consider if biomass, if there are plenty of biomass volumes, then what would happen then? And uh, what will be the main challenges for the renewable sector going forward? I think uh, it's not difficult to make a renewable world. Uh, the problem is that uh, it's difficult to decide about the policy. And, uh, so, and also the policy will go back and forth. Now we have the Ukraine crisis at the moment and then a lot of people change uh, views and uh, maybe the policy also will be changed. So as an investor, it's very difficult to navigate in this area. So uh, it's, uh, and also, as I said, uh, policy, people underestimating the potential in the biomass sector and so on, then that also makes it difficult. There is a lot of subsidies, which uh, uh, actually make people believe that the market is going in one direction but actually it's the subsidies that make the market go in the, this direction. And, and you can't go on with subsidies for, for a long time. You can do it for four years, five years and so on. And when the subsidies are taken away, then the market will go in another direction. And then you can be a loser as an investor. So you need to really uh, understand what, what, is the, what is the base for the economy in different uh, renewables. And that's difficult. Okay, thank you very much for being here, Gustav, and sharing your insights. Okay, thank you very much. It's been really a pleasure.